Oncologists dealing with many forms of cancer are frustrated because they know they have effective drugs but are severely restricted in using them for fear of side effects. Side effects often occur when anti-cancer drugs or antibodies are administered intravenously because they're distributed throughout the body, affecting both normal and abnormal cells indiscriminately. And Genix Drug Delivery Vehicle, or EDV, provides a way of delivering the anti-cancer agent to tumour cells without exposing other cells to damage. The EDV is a shell which is made from a mutant bacterium which divides asymmetrically. The smaller portion, containing no chromosomes, will form the EDV. Being made from a bacterial cell wall, the EDV is ideally suited to survive intact until it is within the target cell. Many molecules of an anti-cancer agent are packed into the interior of the EDV in preparation for the journey. In fact, each EDV particle may contain up to 10 million molecules of an anti-cancer drug such as doxorubicin. Aiming the EDV at the tumour cells is made possible by creating a single bispecific antibody molecule from two separate antibodies. Through antibody antigen attraction, one end is attached to one of the fine projections which protrude from the surface of the EDV. At the other end is an antibody made specifically to seek out receptors on the surface of the cell type that is being targeted. There is a second way in which the EDV helps deliver its cargo where it is needed. It is based on the pattern of blood supply to a tumour. As a tumour grows, it develops a rich network of blood vessels. But the walls of these new vessels of the tumour network are abnormally thin and often have gaps which allow the EDV particles to leave this circulatory system, but only in the region of the tumour. And when they have escaped into the tissues around the tumour, high pressure within this region and poor lymphatic drainage tend to keep the particles there, trapped in the tumour microenvironment. Since it is only the small blood vessels in the vicinity of the tumour that are leaky, the EDV particles otherwise remain within the circulation. It is this combination of leaky tumour blood vessels and antibody specificity which delivers the EDV particles to where they are needed. After attachment to the surface receptors of the target cells, the EDV particles are engulfed and taken into the cell by the process of endocytosis. Inside the cell, the EDV particles are contained within endosomes but are broken down, releasing their payload of anti-cancer drugs. Then, escaping from the endosomes, these drugs are free to exert their effects, which ultimately lead to the targeted cell's destruction. But not all the cells of a tumour may be killed. Cancer cells mutate at a high rate, and those mutant cells which survive chemotherapy may not only be resistant to further courses of the drug, but also encouraged by the presence of the drug to produce greater amounts of drug resistance mediating proteins. It is the survival and proliferation of drug resistant mutants which underlies the problem of the patient whose tumour recurs and fails to respond to further chemotherapy. One such mutation, occurring in a gene located on the 16th chromosome, can greatly increase the production of a protein called multiple drug resistance protein. This protein can actually help pump anti-cancer drugs out of the cell. MDR protein is found in the cell membrane, even in normal cells. However, when it is produced to excess in drug-resistant cancer cells, large areas of it form on the exterior surface of the cell. This makes it more difficult for anti-cancer drugs to penetrate, since the pump proteins help to rapidly pump the drug out of the cell. The EDV can be used to overcome the MDR protein problem. It is possible to create a short interfering RNA molecule which will act specifically to interfere with the operation of the gene responsible for making multiple drug resistance protein. This molecule, messenger RNA, is made in the nucleus under instructions from the gene encoding for MDR protein. Messenger RNA escapes from the nucleus into the cytoplasm where it takes part in manufacturing the protein in the process known as translation. The molecules of short-acting RNA delivered by means of the EDV actually attack and chop up this messenger RNA, 
interfering with the production of MDR protein. Now, with the problem of multiple drug resistance protein having been overcome, a second wave of EDVs is launched with bispecific antibody attached, but this time containing the required anti-cancer drug. The Engenic system delivers anti-cancer drugs and antibodies where they are needed, while reducing the risk of side effects seen when such drugs are given by direct intravenous injection or infusion.